Hello, Taurus viewers. So, <clears throat> as many of you know, for those of you that are drawn to this channel, I have been getting collectively that many of you are manifesting new people in your life. You're, you're manifesting new love. Some of you are still holding on to the past, to the ex, so I'm going to tell both stories on this page just to reiterate. I'll tell you the past about the past person that's coming back around, and then I'll also tell you about the new person that you've either just manifested or that you're either in the process of manifesting, you know, because the choice is yours, ultimately. And let's see, what I'm getting here is that somebody is about to come back around. I think it's somebody that held on to their pride a lot, somebody who shut you out in the past somebody who just always wanted to be right they didn't want to let their guard down i do feel like the new connection that you've either just manifested or you're in the process of manifesting i do feel like it's a lot more pure i feel like it's divinely guided um you know this group of tauruses that i channel you guys have been through a lot i've i've picked up abusive or toxic relationships for a lot of you and a lot of you have come through that now like you're really working on healing that, breaking those patterns. Um, and so you are manifesting new love. With this old person from the past, though, I feel like... I feel like it was hard for you to cut those cords, but I feel like you're starting to do it now. I do also feel like they've been kind of trapped and blocked and tied up. Like they've hesitated, they've had mixed feelings, they've been on the fence, not sure what they want you know, have been kind of cold and guarded and distrusting with you, even if it wasn't warranted. And it's like, I think they made, I get the sense of somebody who made a lot of excuses, somebody who, you know, maybe didn't want to commit or just couldn't figure out what they wanted, but they didn't want to lose you. Um, and there's, there could be arguments as well with this person or just miscommunication because like, we do have the pride and stubbornness card too. But we also have risk reward and bold gesture and choosing love over fear at this point. So I kind of get the sense that this is somebody who, like they get, you, you know, you see this couple here, like they're not really talking. They're just kind of, it's just miscommunication or there's just a long period of silence, you know, not breaking the ice kind of energy. And I think that, that your person, this person is starting to understand that if they want you, they're going to have to make the first move. They're going to have to put their pride aside and reach out before it's too late. And it might already be too late for some of them. Some of you don't even want to go back to this. Um, but yeah, I think they're getting, like, they held on to their pride for a while and just tried to keep you around. And I think now, I, th I think they did that for so long that they didn't even realize they lost you at first. Because I think they were so used to, like, you chasing them or so used to, like, being wanted or just... They had it in their head that they could go and do whatever they wanted and figure their life out and that they'd come back to you and you'd be there for them when they came back. And now they're kind of testing the waters and I think they're they're getting some sense that you're not as emotionally open to them as you used to be. It's almost like a child testing their mom or something. It's kind of the energy I get where it's like, they try to run off in the mall or something and, and you have to, you know, you look back to see where they are. But when you pretend like you're not looking, that's when they come running after you. It's it's that kind of energy here. It's like they just held on to their pride and just, you know, let them maybe let a lot of time go without communicating. Or maybe you guys were communicating, but you were just miscommunicating or not on the same page. And I'm getting here though that they're they're yeah they're realizing that if they they have to choose their pride or they have to choose a love, so they are going to make some sort of bold gesture towards you. It looks like this is something that you were waiting and hoping and praying for in the past. Um, you know we've got courage and assertiveness and motivation and forward movement. So they are working up the energy to come to you, but I kind of feel like. With Chaser, Chasey, and Power Struggle here, I kind of feel like they're not actually ready, but they're going to pretend like they're ready because they don't want to lose you. 
You know what I mean? Like they want to take their time and just kind of have you on the side, but they're realizing that that's not an option for you anymore. And so with the chaser, chasey and power struggle card here, I'm kind of getting that they're, yeah, they're just, they're recognizing that they, they can't have their cake and eat it too anymore. They're recognizing that, you know, they, they're going to have to make a move or they're going to lose you. They need to say something. They need to do something. But I feel like this person is still prideful. I feel like there's still like a kind of mind game, like a chaser, chasey game, you know, power struggle, mind games, pride, stubbornness, uh, distrust, mixed feelings. There's still that energy to this person. They're just kind of trying to hide it and pretend like there's not because they want to win you back um, is, is what I'm getting from this reading. I do get that you're in, you're going to be, or you are in a very vulnerable, receptive state. And I feel like all this waiting and hoping and praying energy, like hoping this person would get it together, hoping they would come back for you, um, you know, being vulnerable, being open. I feel like you actually have ended up, you either have just manifested or you are in the process of manifesting new love, you know, this faded encounter. So you put all this, this vulnerable, receptive, open energy out in the universe of, you know, I think you, you, I don't know if you did it specifically for this, this ex person, or if you just put the, the intention out in the universe in general, but I kind of get the energy of like, maybe for a lot of you, it was probably for the ex, like, you know, I want this person to come back around. I want this person to love me. I want this person to be here. I want emotional av availability in my relationship. I want stability in my relationship. And instead of manifesting the, the ex, it's like your guides manifested new divine love instead. You know, because you put that intention out there and, you know, your guides are like, well, this ex person isn't ready and they're not good enough for you. So you have new love instead. And so, yeah, magic, intention, manifestation, power, like you manifested this. We've got third party distraction, karmic partner. I don't know why my camera is acting up so much today. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, it could be like a love triangle here that you're going to be in. And then again, it's up to you what you what path you want to go down, you know, but your your magic, your intention for love has manifested this. So you're going to not only be getting some kind of communication from the ex that you were holding on to, but you're also how you have this new love coming in as well, or that a new love that's just come in clubs, parties, social life. So someone could be noticing your social media posts and kind of stalking a little bit. Um, could also be someone you're going to meet at a club or a party or, or some kind of social event. Or also just, you know, going out and living your life and not focusing on this other person is part of that. It's like they realize that you're kind of might be watching you or whatever and they're kind of realizing that like, oh, you're moving on. They don't have you on lockdown anymore. You're kind of just doing your own thing. Um, I feel like this is social recognition to like really living your life again. And um, yeah, it's it's a good energy here. And with this new person, I just feel like it's more of like a magical connection. It's more like it's more of a divinely guided connection, more of it like more destiny um, where this other person might just be a karmic partner. But again, it's ultimately your path. So you yeah, you get to decide um, if this resonates. I hope you guys subscribe. And if you want a private reading, my email is below. Thank you.